everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So today is Father's Day, and I want to wish all you fathers out there happy Father's Day. Uh, but today it is about 85 degrees, really humid out, way too hot to be doing firewood. So I thought today was a good day to be out here tinkering around with some chainsaws. I just bought a brand new Holtzforma G372 XP. And if you don't know what that is, it is a Chinese clone of the Husqvarna 372 XP. The Husqvarna runs about 899 bucks. The Holtzforma was $209. So if it's just a throwaway saw, like I said, you know, it's Chinese, you never know with these saws if they're gonna be worth anything. Uh, for 209 bucks, I figured if I got a junk it in a few weeks, it was worth it to at least get it over here, test it out, and see if it's worth anything. But what we're gonna do today is run it against four other saws and just give you a good idea of what to expect with one of these and also compare all these other saws. Stick around. All right, so here's what we got today. Uh, this was my first saw ever. This saw here is a Husqvarna 455 Rancher. It's a 55cc saw. Here's the Holtzforma clone saw. So it's a 71cc saw. This right here is an exact clone of this 372 XP here. This is my neighbor's uh, steel MS-362. And then we've got the big boy here, the MS-462 steel. So we're gonna cut a couple of discs off of this log here. This is a maple log. It is about 17 and a half inches across. So it'll be a good test since we do have a smaller uh, Husqvarna 455. It'll at least be able to get through that with the 455. And then all these other saws, it'll just be a matter of how fast they get through it.
So the results were a little different than what I expected. I went ahead and rearranged them in order here of speed. Uh, starting off on the left here was the Husqvarna 455 Rancher with a 20 inch bar and a full chisel chain. It clocked in at 31.25 seconds. Next, we had the steel MS362 with a 20 inch bar, and this is a semi chisel chain. So if this would have had a full chisel chain on it, it probably would have been a whole lot more than two seconds faster than the 455 Rancher, but it came in at 29.15 seconds. Then we had the Holtzforma G372 XP with a 24 inch bar, full chisel chain, and I'm only gonna count the cut where I made it through the whole way without bogging out. Uh, I think I just need to tune this better. I'm no professional when it comes to tuning. I'm just trying to do what I've seen on other YouTube videos on tuning. So I think this one needs tuned a little better and it might not bog down like it was. But uh, like I said, 24 inch bar, full chisel chain, and it, it clocked in at 20.3 seconds. And then next we had the steel MS-462. Now disclaimer on this, my neighbor just bought this. He's only got about one tank of gas through it, so it still needs broken in, but it's a 25 inch bar with a full chisel and it came in at 13 seconds. And then lastly on the list is this, the real Husqvarna 372 with a 24 inch bar full chisel and it came in at 12.42 seconds. Both of these saws here just completely blew me away. You know, going from this Holtzforma G372 to dropping down eight or 10 seconds on these two saws. I mean, it's just night and day. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this Holtzforma G372 Chinese clone version of the Husqvarna 372 XP. Let me know if you think it's worth it for 209 bucks or if you would just steer clear. Also, you know, since I do already have this saw, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for how to tune it up better so it doesn't bog down on me. Go back and rewatch when I ran this thing. Let me know if you think it's running lean or if it's running rich or if I need to adjust the idle or anything like that. Uh, like I said, I'm no expert, so I'm asking for help on getting this thing tuned up a little better. Maybe we'll uh, rerun it and see if it gets any faster. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and check out some other videos. Thanks for watching.